One unique thing I've noticed about Barbados is the high number of roadside food businesses. Individuals selling fresh fried fish, fresh coconut water, and of course, fresh produce, like this watermelon. I went to the nearest produce vendor to check it out, and even though Carol didn't want to be on camera, she was graciously willing to answer a few questions. Please pardon the audio quality here, as my binaural audio recorder malfunctioned during the recording, so I was left using the GoPro audio. What can I get for you this morning? Oh, well, today is Tuesday morning, so everything is fresh, right? Yes, everything. I open Tuesday to Saturday, get all my produce on Monday. The sweet potatoes and um, sweet potatoes, the watermelon, the beans, the gar this is called garden pumpkin. Um, cucumbers and okras are all grown locally. When you say local, how far away are these people that grow these? Well, they're different farms. Like you have a farm in St. Lucie, you have farms in St. George, they're farms in um, different places, but I mostly get most of my local stuff from the Springhead Farm in St. Lucie. That's in the northern part of the island of Barbados, and that's where you, have a, you meet a lot of farmers, where sometimes you go, you can actually see the sweet potatoes being dug at the same time. Like they, they come from like dug like a rod. They're grown like in rods, so you dug a, dig a rod. And so when they, the sweet potatoes come with dirt, you know they're fresh. They come yeah. straight from the well, ground. You see, the dirt, I'm told what you keep the dirt on, it helps keeps the potatoes longer, as opposed to like, you know, when you clean off the, um, try to wash them. Oh, really? Yeah, it helps keep the potato. How many growers do you work with? How many different people? <sighs> Quite a few, depends, because sometimes you may find one person, one farmer only grows sweet potatoes. Then you may find another person who only deals in watermelon. Then you might find another farmer who deals with beans. So, like, they're different people. And when you go to one farm, you have, um, you know who has watermelon? And so, okay, well, go over to the next farm and John Doe or calling that person by name may have what you're looking for. And so these are all small farmers, they're, yes. they're personal backyard lots and... The project that I deal with in St. Lucie is lease, it's land leased from the government, lease these farmers, so they're like huge acres. But oh. yeah, you can say they're small farmers. Individual, individual farmers. Individual farmers making a living. Nice. And so throughout Barbados, what kind of, what is the most common produce one would find at a roadside vendor? Everything has a season. So one time you'll find that cucumbers are in like plentiful, plentiful, plentiful. And then another time you'll find that you can scarcely get cucumbers. And if you do get cucumbers, then you'll find that the price um, is quite high because, uh, you know, supply and demand. Is there any advantage to buying local produce instead of buying something you might just get at a supermarket? Of course it's, um, it's best to buy local. You buy local, you support the country, you support the vendors, you know, you're buying local as opposed to buying imported. Like for instance, like my bananas. Like there are people that would come and they would ask, are these locally grown bananas? And some people would say, well, they prefer to have a local grown banana. A banana that they know like, over there, that's banana trees over there. What should someone new to Barbados know about Barbados? Barbados, first of all, I'm going to say this, that we are very friendly and hospitable people. Um, we'll go away out to help you um, get to know Barbados. You can take a drive around the country and just basically get to know the country that if you're going to be here for the next 12 months, you should get to know all aspects of um, the Bajan way of life. Get the food, know about the different towns, our heritage, our culture. I am a fan of food that is locally sourced, but here, saying it's locally sourced is an understatement. The coconut vendor literally pointed to a coconut tree on the other side of the road and said they collect from that tree, among others. The fish in the sandwich was caught in an ocean 
that is only a hundred steps away from the frying pan in which it was cooked. The produce sold that's grown in Barbados, interestingly, is collected the farthest away, about a 15 minute drive, Carol told me. The locally sourced food wave has really grown in America over the past several years, but here in Barbados, it's a naturally occurring part of life.